Cool, cool. All right. So I'm Dave Ratt, and today we're going to dive again into wiring systems for in-ears and headphones. I'm going to be using in-ears as the example, but everything that I'm doing here applies to headphones as well. Uh, in a previous video, I talked about and demonstrated that uh, use, having three wires at any length of distance or at some length of distance between the, the, the plug, the mini plug or quarter inch plug, and um, the four wires that are needed, two for each ear, um, using three wires and then going to four or starting with three all the way through, yeah, going three going to four, um, or three going to one side and then going to two to jump to the other side, um, has uh, panning issues. Basically, you, there's residual noise showing up. If you pan the sound all the way to one side, there's some residual noise that was showing up in the other side. Uh, the question came up in the Zoom chats that I was doing. A uh, great question, which is, uh, is it more copper? Is it that there's the fourth wire that makes up the difference and just using thicker three wire? Uh, would that solve it? Or is it a four wire versus three wire? Is it the quantity wires or the, the amount of um, metal, the conductivity of the wires? Um, so I thought about that. And theoretically, um, you have three wires. Let's go ahead and draw this on my scratch paper here. Now we have a plug that's got, you know, the little tip ring sleeve plug that's got, um, you know, the tip, which is, um, and then the ring, and then the sleeve. And those three conductors, the sleeve would be the ground. And then I believe the tip is left. I haven't checked that. And then the, um, ring would be right here. Um, so you have three conductors on your uh, quarter inch plug or your, um, your um, cable. And then that goes to, you've got your speakers, which are going to your in-ears. We'll draw a little speaker here for one in-ear and you've got another speaker here for an in-ear. And let's say this is a plus and let's put this plus out here. And that's your minus, not your minus. I know the reverse. And then if you have three wires, you'd connect those two together and come down and come down. And if you have four wires, it would be, you have your little speaker, plus, plus. And then with four wires, you would have, and they would come all the way down to the connector and then if um, this was the connector here, um, the three with the two wires traveling the distance to each, whereas on this one, we might have this come down to a connector here where we've got the three wires with the common ground that is split off somewhere. So I thought about this and came up with a very simple way to demonstrate um, without a doubt whether three wires or four wires is better and whether or not it is the copper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a four wire cable, which has going to, oops, I'll draw that there. And I'll call that the connector. We have the four wire ca cable, and then we've got our speakers here. And I'm going to take a clip lead and right up near the speaker, I'm going to attach that clip lead to the, the minus wire, minus plus, plus. I'm going to attach that clip lead and short out this center cable. So now what's going to happen is in the four wire system without that center, the sound sent to here, whatever this does, whatever it drags up and down on these voltage, every load, any load that it puts on these wires is isolated and only affects all the way back at the connector. And the same thing. So you have two isolated entities at the end of a length of wire. With a three wire system, you've got this would load down. If this speaker has some load on it and that one doesn't, it's going to 
drag this voltage down on this wire and drag the voltage down on this wire. So this wire will be fluctuating in voltage slightly. When this one came, this one doesn't have any signal sent to it, but since this voltage is fluctuating, and that's fluctuating, which will send it to there, the fluctuation versus the stable, you know, there's no signal here, will cause some sound to be put out. The, this will drag that wire down and make sound come out of here. Um, question is, in this scenario, we have totally isolated things. If I load this down and then I jumper the two, will it make sound increase here when I connect the jumper? And when I disconnect the jumper, will the sound drop down? Furthermore, the reason this test is interesting is it uses the same amount of copper or silver or whatever. The wiring is equal to or greater than the four wire system. So going to a three wire system, I, instead of using thicker wire, trying to calc all that out, I'm using a four wire system and I'm going to add a wire to it and see what happens. Um, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. So first we'll use this uh, little sound bullet here and it generates pink noise. We'll plug it into the world's largest mixing board with a single XLR input. Um, and I will pan that center. Here I've got, let me take this away. Um, I've got a pair of in-ears. I've got a four wire cable that I took off of the um, Stellasonics and I plugged it into a pair of um, ultimate ears. And I chose the ultimate ears because the uh, I could just fit them in there. Some of these don't have um, the ability to get this connector in. This is, so these are a match pair. So now there's the clip lead. So it's just wired to, I backed these connectors out. So it's, there's the clip lead. So to start with, let's do this. Let's run pink noise into these. And you should be able to hear them. And I'm going to hold them alternately up to the recording mic system. There's one and the other and both. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out a way to pan this guy out. I'm going to sit on this one so that it doesn't make so much noise. And now we've got this other one here and we'll pan away from it. So now this is the other one's on. And I'll go ahead and sit on it again. And this right here is the residual noise that uh, is bleeding through. Now I'll turn this um, all the way down. All right, so you should be able to hear that. That's how much noise, and this is a four-wire system, so that's the amount of bleed that's showing up on this four-wire system. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this wire to this here. Excuse my finesse here. And then I'm going to sit on this again. And I'm going to take the other end of the clip lead. Now we can hear this here. And I'm going to connect it to this one. So when I plug this in, we should hear what it sounds like when the Grantway becomes a three-wire system. So there's the four. That's the three. Four. Three. Uh, I'm going to hear it myself now. And I can definitely hear it jump up. When I go to a three-wire system, when I short out the grounds, between the two, we actually get more bleed into this ear that it's panned away from. And we still have the same amount of copper. Um, I believe that's a pretty good. So we're converting from that system.
to that system, where we've shorted the two grounds together, which in essence is the same as that system, which is a three-wire system. Um, I think that pretty well shows that um, even a three-wire cable with thicker conductors or the same amount of conductors is uh, got less isolation on the um, panned away side. So if you have signal differentials between your left and right, a three-wire system is going to have a closed pan. You're not going to get a full hard left, hard right pan. You can get bleed and leakage. The Now we did notice, even with the four-wire system, when I panned all the way to one side, we were getting leakage there. Um, I believe that's in the mixing board because still this is at some point a three wire system. It's going into a three wire connector. There's amp op amps, there's whatever's driving. So the wiring in the console and that will vary from uh, console to console. So having the fact that it's a three wire connector is already flawed. But the sooner we go to four wires, um, the more isolation you'll get panned left to uh, in panning. You'll get um, you'll be able to achieve. Um, I think that's about, that about covers it. Um, yeah, and this applies to headphones as well. Three wire, four wire headphones. You're going to get better stereo imaging if you have four wires than three. Um, and oh, I know if you, if you look at it even further with a pure four wire system where they're completely isolated and you don't even have a, you have a, don't even have a three wire plug. You've got a four conductor plug and you have two wires here coming from the source and two wires here and the grounds never touch. Two separate amplifiers, a left amp and a right amp and they never touch. Then you would have this amp powering this headphone or this ear or this speaker and this amp powering this speaker. Well, no matter what you do on this amp, this one will never make noise. It's 100% pure isolation. No matter how thick you make those cables, you can make them infinitely thin or thick, you're not going to get any um, bleed. Conversely, if you use a common ground and you use three wires to power those four so that there's something related to the two, you tie those grounds together someplace and there's signal carrying. When you put it over, the wire would have to be infinitely thick to get zero bleed. There's no thickness that would work. So as far as minimizing the amount of bleed from left to right or right to left, the four wire system keeping things isolated for as long as possible is uh, preferable, superior, and um, minimizing the amount you're dealing with three wires. And ideally headphones would not even have a three wire plug. They would have a four wire plug or a separate quarter inch mono for left and a separate quarter inch mono for right to really achieve um, true stereo. Okay, uh, whether that matters or not for your application, um, you gotta take that into account. Um, you could hear the difference. I played how loud it was. I can do that now really quick one more time. Let's turn this on. And maybe we won't turn it on. And the tone. that's the tone. Okay, so now we're here. That's coming out of the headphones. So I'm going to pan all the way to one side. We'll get rid of all this stuff. Let's see how much bleed there is. Um, come on. Awkward. Um, so I'll turn that up to something reasonable. I'll pan all the way to one side. So, so we can see it's way down. I mean, the amount of bleed is very low with this four wire cable. Um, with a three wire cable, as I meander along here in this adventure. Let's see what happens with Okay, here's a three wire cable. There's one side. I'll turn it down a bit. 
on the other side. And uh, it's actually, um, it's actually considerably louder, the three wire cable versus the four wire, ca four wire cable. And the four wire, ca four wire cable with the jumper was somewhere in between kind of making that three wire cable because increasing the amount of copper does help. Okay, I hope I didn't babble too much there and um, I have more videos to come. Cool, cool.